Welcome to the Utah Office for Victims of Crime State Funding Award Overview Training. This brief module will provide you with a basic understanding of state allocated funding available for programs that serve crime victims. You'll learn about the UOBC website, how to navigate the grants management system, and the key requirements for managing your grant throughout the grant cycle. The Utah Office for Victims of Crime, or UOBC, has been designated as the state agency responsible for distributing state allocated funds, which will support services for a wide range of victimizations through sexual assault, criminal justice, legal, and community-based programs. Whether you are new to UOBC funding or have been a recipient for years, we encourage you to explore and regularly use our agency website. It offers a wealth of resources on grant management tailored to specific funding sources, training opportunities for victim services providers, and guidance on helping victims apply for Crime Victims Compensation, a program that offers direct assistance to victims of violent crime. Now let's explore the grants management system where your online award is stored. All UOVC awards are managed through this portal, which is where you'll submit reimbursement requests, upload required documents and progress reports, and access important materials related to your award. If you need to request an additional login to the system or request a current password, you'll need to email your grant analyst. So this is the homepage of the portal. You can see down below all four funding sources that UOVC offers. During the time of an open application, this is generally where you will begin that process. The support tab offers contact information for the system administrators in our office. They can be contacted with system issues if your grant analyst is unavailable. By clicking the My Applications tab, you will see a list of all applications or funded awards that belong to your organization. By viewing the project title, find the award you are currently working on and click on the award record ID to the left. This will have you enter your award. Inside your award por portal, you will find four tabs. The Files tab will house all award documents, including your signed award letter, billing ledger, and amendment ledger. Both you and your grant analyst have the ability to attach files here. So if we ask you to attach something to your award, this is where you will come to do it. You just click Add Files here and attach. The Budget tab does allow you to see a simple view of your total budget, although we encourage you to look at your most recent billing ledger for an accurate remaining balance and details of your approved budget. You can click the budget here, select your one, and it will just give you an overview of your total amount and your remaining balance. The payment request and amendment tab both have additional training modules to walk you through this process. Uh, they have been, there have been some changes from the previous year, so we encourage you to review them both before making any requests. In this next section, we will review all required documentation or actions needed by your organization during the funding cycle. Payment or reimbursement requests must be submitted at least quarterly with the option to bill monthly if you prefer. For quarterly billing, requests are due 30 days after the quarter ends. If you opt for monthly billing, you should submit your requests within 30 days after the end of each billing month. To the right, you can see our quarterly schedule here. So quarter one is from July 1 to September 30th the payment request would be due 30 days after that time, which would be October 30th. The only exception to that is the quarter four billing, which is generally due July 15th, and that is because it is the end of the state's fiscal year and the closeout of all awards. We would encourage you to make note of these 
key dates to ensure you meet all deadlines. If you run into any technical issues, don't hesitate to reach out to your grant analyst right away. We want to help you resolve any problems quickly so there's no delay in getting payments to your agency. You will find a separate training module on how to submit a reimbursement request. Your agency is also required to submit four progress reports following the same quarterly schedule. On these dates, you'll need to submit a report on the progress of your goals and objectives. This could involve the program plan your agency submitted with your application, or depending on the type of award, your, eff your efforts to fulfill the scope of work. A separate training module is available to guide you through completing the quarterly progress report. On a quarterly basis, your grant analyst will reach out to you to request either an in-person meeting, virtual meeting, or chat through email. This is in an effort to share important updates, reminders, and provide overall technical assistance. We encourage you to take advantage of these times to make your grant management process as seamless as possible. Twice a year, your grant-funded program must report to the organization's governing board. This report should include details about the award funding and progress on your goals and objectives. While there's no set deadline for each report, we recommend spacing them evenly throughout the award year. Both reports must be completed by June 30th. A separate training module is available to guide you through how to submit a governing board report. Once per year, your program may receive a site visit and or a desk review from UOVC monitors. During a desk review, a grant monitor will review the documents and records you've submitted to make sure your program is using grant funds correctly. They will check, you, they will check your financial reports and progress reports and any other required documents to ensure everything matches up and follows the grant guidelines. UOVC monitors will be in contact with you to schedule this review and generally allows for a month of preparation time. And finally, at the end of the award, after you have completed your final reimbursement request, your grant analyst will send you a deobligation form. This form will indicate the amount of funding your organization was unable to spend during the grant cycle. If your deobligation amount is higher than 10% of your total award, you will be asked to provide an explanation as to why. Excessive deobligation over time may affect your organization's ability to receive funding in the future. Again, this is an overview, highlights the essential activities required throughout the award cycle. The complete schedule is available on the UOVC website under the Grants tab. Throughout the year, you will receive timely reminders from your grant analyst to ensure you meet all requirements and deadlines. This concludes the overview of state funding award. You can access this and more trainings at crimevictim.utah.gov and look for the grants training checklist. Thank you for all you're doing to support crime victims in our state.